Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the fuel line connector on your hedge trimmer, make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We also recommend emptying the fuel tank. Unthread the knob to detach the air filter housing. Next, unthread the fuel tank cap and remove the retainer. Note the orientation of the primer return and intake hoses, then disconnect them from the carburetor. Use a flathead screwdriver to push the grommet into the tank. Then use a wire with a hook to remove the fuel system assembly from the fill spout. Pull the fuel intake line away from the grommet. Release the retaining spring and pull the two sections of the fuel line apart. You can now remove the old fuel line connector. Install the new fuel line connector by inserting the long end into the fuel line secured in the grommet. Join the two sections of the fuel line together and secure the retaining spring. Now push the line back through the grommet so the connector sits inside the grommet. Apply a small amount of oil to the grommet. Then insert the fuel filter into the tank and push the grommet into place. Connect the intake and primer return hoses to the appropriate ports on the carburetor. Now insert the retainer into the tank and thread on the cap. Reposition the air filter housing and thread the knob to secure. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Refill the fuel tank and your hedge trimmer should be ready for use.